Dum 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 dum. Oh, hi, Eric. What up? Oh, dude. Friends, this is exciting for me right now. Because as you know, I've got my Buck and Billy Ray dot commerce on for the event. I gotta take off my seatbelt. Because I usually don't wear one. Just kidding. So I'm excited. I hope you are too. So most of you know, and if you don't, um, I came here. When did I come here, Eric? A couple months back? Yeah. It was a while ago. And we were we were cutting like crazy. Um I ran a, a actually a, a fresh build. I, I ran a fresh build. Um 500 i and uh oh things have changed <laughs> what do you oh look at this you guys got buck and billy ray on the Hi, how you doing? not bad how you boys doing morning fellas Good morning. still living at the bench hey fellas oh, yes. what are you doing there i'm just cleaning her up that looks like a little two is that a 261 that is well, the Billy Ray's starting to learn his magic here. I'm starting to be able to pick up the looking at things as cylinders. Now, look at this character here. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Are you chopping wood, Bill? Good for you, kid. You're coming a long way, young fella. Guy can throw an axe around. That's about all he can do. Now, what did you just say? I got. I got to turn this. So around. It, it would seem. It would seem. Friends, we're here. Eric, good to see you again, brother. You too, sir. Yeah. How's it going? Good. So, he, he just said something to me, and it's he've changed things. Like I. All these saws, they're all spoken for. They're all sold. And those are the ones we're currently next up in line. So, so this hasn't stopped. No, no, we. Uh, Got a good bit of saws in here. And, so uh, this is the the five hundred I stack. Yeah, those are uh, those are the regular handles, and then we have the wrap handles on that part. So that's that's all wrap. Yeah, these are all these are all wrappers, and then the regular ones over here. Four sixty twos. Now two sixty ones. I'm 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 intrigued here. I, I'll just be honest. Mm -hmm. This this four sixty two. Um. I want to I wanna run one of these when you get one ported up. We're making one for you right now with the, the manual carburetor. Are you now? Since you already have the fuel injection. Yeah. We figured we'd build you one of these with the manual carbs. This is still the Mtronic one, but... But these are... The, but this is the... This is the, the, the... Let's say the equal to the 572 as far as a comparison yeah. saw goes, isn't it, Eric? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 They're both great saws. I mean, honestly, we just tell guys, pick your poison. I mean, if you're already running Husky stuff and you're happy with it, 572 is great. If you're already running steel and you got a bunch of steel bars, can't beat a 462. I mean, do, you, do you know, great. Eric, you're, you're absolutely right. This Ford Chevy Husky steel thing, friends, I don't understand it. Yeah, don't I've never understood it. Uh, I worked with fallers who were steel guys and guys that were Husky guys, and it's just, there's no better. Nothing's better. It's what's better for you. Like, like seriously, I get tired of that, to be honest with you. I, I just, I don't understand it. That all happened when I hit YouTube. No one, I mean, guys joked. We oh, always yeah. joked. Are yeah. oh, you and you're yeah, still. We go back and forth. We, honestly, this is what we tell guys, you know, whichever one of your local dealers treats you better. You know what I mean? Precisely. And they know exactly what I mean when we say that. I mean, exactly. You have dealers that you walk in and it's basically a lawnmower shop. They don't even know how to put the chain on the right way. That's right. That's unfortunate for some people. You know, that may be all they have. But, yeah. You know, definitely, you know which dealer takes care of you. And sometimes it's worth driving to. You know, if you've got to drive an hour or two to get to the right dealer, sometimes it's worth it. So I mean, service. Yeah. Absolutely. It's about service. And I agree with that 100%. Uh, I've had huskies in my mittens for freaking 25 years. That, that's just, that's where, I, that's where I live. I see a little dirt on you guys. I'm going to clean you off. So, Eric, all this is sold, this merchant. We've been spoken for. Um, we have a bunch more at our other little warehouse. But, um, yeah, everything that's here has been brought here because... It's sold. It. Yeah, it's sold. Wow, this is incredible. You got some work ahead of you, boys. Yeah. Now... Did something show up in the mail here a while back? It did. It did. I, well, a couple of things showed up here. <laughs> I dropped a saw off here through the mail. 
Got your juicy 500 right here. Now, is that, oh, I've missed you, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the one you ported, the one that I ran when I came here. Yeah, we took it apart, cleaned it up a little bit. Did um, you? Didn't have to make any changes. The cylinder still looked great. You know what I mean? Has uh, pretty low hours on it, so. Well, we're we gonna... run that nicely last time I oh, was yeah. here. Yeah, we'll put it on the, we wanted to wait, you know, as everybody knows, um, we want to reset it on the steel MDG1. So yep. we wanted to wait for Bucking to get here to do that. It'll Thank take you. Take us a couple seconds. Thank so. you. So you, so friends, <clears throat> that is not the saw that I ran. That's my saw that I shipped. Eric, I think, is a little camera shy or caught him off guard. He's not used to being on the camera at all. He actually doesn't like it. So thank you, Eric, for putting up with my camera in your face. That is my saw, friends, that I sent to them. Got the, the computer ready to go? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, we'll get it plugged in. We'll get it. We got to get the saw hot and warmed up. And now, then uh, get it plugged in. The what's that? Oh, that's your new girl. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. that's that got, one. Got her dressed up with the 32 still. That's that one I run. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's your new saw. Okay, so that's the new 500. Yep. <laughs> that was that one, friends. So that's that one that was in the video that when I came to Ripsaw last time, that is a completely different animal than mine. And uh, just so people know, and we already told you this, this saw... Uh, there's nothing special. This is exactly what goes to every one of our customers. We didn't build it specifically hot just because we knew you're going to make videos with it. No. As you can see, this saw was actually sent to a customer in California. Oh, it, this is that. Yeah. And it was damaged. So we literally just had them. We, so let's we show sent that. Back and we just gave him a brand, a completely brand new saw. So it, it had been broke, friends. Yeah. It's it, really, yep. to me, okay, that's terrible. But yep. and For someone spending $2,200 on a saw, we that's would right. never do them like that. But obviously, we don't care. We're going to go, we treat them like our rifles. They're going to get, they're going to get worked. You yeah. Know, so. so that's the saw that I was running. It yep. came back, friends, yep. because of that little break on the, on the case there. Yep. So that's actually good information. And there's my saw. Yep. That's the one I this sent. Is yours. This is just a little zombie we have that we just tried different stuff on. 2511, 400. 400 with a wrap. Yep, we threw the wrap on this. We took the the side case off it. It had the 362. Like, yeah. yeah. It, came, it didn't have the captive nuts and stuff, and it just kind of looked old school. Sure. So we took that, put the original one back on it. These are just 362 wrap handles if anybody once one for a 400 or 362 right? that's what it is isn't it yep. simple and and i don't see why you wouldn't yeah like yeah. I, I don't understand but anyways that that that's just the the rap world is is i i've known so many people who have swapped over to rap bars um through youtube it's it's just through YouTube. Yeah, a lot of guys didn't even know they existed. No, and I understand that because that's what the flying rip snorting son of a. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, dude, you're gonna port this thing. It's a, it's a 2023. Is this a 24? This thing's crazy. Yeah, it's actually fuel injected, so you knew we had to get one. Oh yeah, I gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, they, they, Electric start, there's not even a kickstarter on it. You can just fire right up. KTM. Wow, dude. Yeah, they, so, uh, they like their motors. Yeah. Now, you got a saw on the computer over there right now. Yep, yeah, it's just, uh, we recalibrate every every 500i before it goes out the door yeah um, they have to be plugged in to do the electronic reset on it got it a lot of guys i mean i'm not saying it's 100 percent necessary I'm, I'm sure most people don't do that but we like to it when you run it through the recalibration period it also runs a bunch of other tests so whenever we're done we can see that there's no air leaks there's not you know yeah fuel filter all, all that racket hey you know what it's it's just more information yep it's just more information. We like to have as much of that as possible. Well, I know you do, and I love coming here. This, to me, I mean, you guys know me. I'm pretty, pretty backwoods, but uh, when I come here and, and, and see these boys, what they're doing, I always get excited. I think Eric's got some coffee on the brew here for us. Oh, oh, oh! We, so... I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this, but I'm bringing it to Bunyan. Liam Hoffman, a huge thank you to you, buddy. Uh, I asked Liam, I said, Liam, I, I, I want to have, friends, I don't have too many big stories in my life, but one of the big stories I have is the creation 
of this. Oh, dear Lord, are you kidding me? Yeah, oh, she's too pretty. We couldn't even put it into wood. It's and look at the handle. He did that for me. So, so thank you, Liam, for that. Thank you for that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, she's... Uh... So this will be this will be at Bunyan, friends. I'm br I'm bringing. <laughs> look at this. I'm proud of this man. Look at that edge. I know, right? Good choice. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of this axe. Any wood I can split? We'll make some. Yeah, we're gonna make some. So there we go. So that's coming off. That's gonna come to Bunyan. So if you're coming to Bunyan, you'll be able to manhandle that axe, and uh, who knows? Maybe even maybe even take it home with you. Who knows? <laughs> Eric, what are you doing to my saw? Friends, okay. I don't I don't claim to know anything. You guys know this about like the stills and especially, but this new, I guess, generation of saws. Well, there's no real calibration the homeowner can do for a saw, like a reset, really. People have talked about it for, you know, the little 200T, you can do that thing where you do the high, you know, you put it on high choke and you let it run, you can reset them. And it's a great thing, it actually works. But with the 500i, the recalibration was, I heard, was just buck. Just get her in the butt. Five big bucks. Well, you're about to see something extremely interesting. I've not seen this done on the internet. I'm honored to share it with you and excited to see what happens. Check this out. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's cutting in all different environments. And, yeah. I mean, they did an amazing thing with this saw. I mean, you can't, I can't deny it. This thing. But it is a different saw than what I was running yesterday in my videos and a couple months back when I was here. Hi, Eric. All right, so we just uh, threw her on the computer. We got to put in recalibration mode. It's similar to what the regular Mtronics are. However, on this saw, you need to plug it into the computer to get it to go into the calibration mode. Yes. So we're gonna take the saw over there, start it, let it idle for minimum 30 seconds, hold it wide open throttle. It'll go through its calibration period. And then you actually, once it goes through that, the calibration period, you let off the throttle. The saw will sit there for 40 seconds and then shut off. It's critical that you do that. If, you, if it doesn't idle for that 40 seconds, calibration didn't work this is interesting okay so this is completely new to me friends yeah, completely this, new to me yeah. so i'm in the the hands of the tech guy here right now So friends, I'm in the hotel room and I'm not even, like I'm, I'm not even going to turn, I'm not going to edit anything. You're going to watch this go as it happens. I don't, I've never seen this with the 500. This was, I watched this whole process. This is really, really interesting, but I'm not going to edit through any of this.
Okay, that's that's straight up weird, dude. Yep. Now we'll put it on the computer and it'll show us that there's no air leaks. It went through a bunch of different tests. It actually tuned the saw. Um, you know, you will have it sometimes when guys, there's something wrong with somebody's saw and we try to retune it. It won't idle for that 40 seconds. It'll shut off, plug it in the computer. It didn't take it. So we got to find out what exactly is wrong with it, fix it, do it again. Interesting. So that computer is a major help. You know what I mean? If guys that don't have that, I mean, obviously they're hard to get, but. So um, Eric, th this like, I've never even seen this happen with this saw mm -hmm. or even I heard it was just five bucks in a big log. Yeah, I mean, the saw, you know, tunes itself. However, that's an actual calibration. Exactly. Know, well, this will be interesting. Yeah. This will be interesting. Okay, that was new to me, yeah. Jake. And again, it gives you that added peace of mind. Like, every 500i that leaves here, they're all logged in there. Yeah. So we, we can see there's no air leaks. There's nothing wrong with it when it left. You're good to go. Do you know what's interesting, friends, to me? Um, is the fact like even, you know what, when you say you're going to the doctor and you, you got something up with you, even the fact that you went to the doctor and talked to the doctor, it's like, you feel better just that you went. It's at least, you know, it's like, okay, I went, I'm not going to die and I'm going to heal. All right, so now we'll put all the data on the computer. Hey, Eric, thanks for sharing this with everybody. You don't have to do this. Well, you know, that's what we're here for. Well, I appreciate it because this is out of your time and, and I know you guys are busy. We love having you here, man. It's how we continue to make the products better. So well, point. it sure has been nice working with you thus far. I, I will say that. So you're saying a lot, a lot of people have that Pretty computer. Much steel dealers. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Oh, look at this, a check mark. Test passed. Test passed. Properly recalibrated. Very interesting. So save that. Yep, and then you can see all of these were all checked here. Yeah, like the, the fuel filters, the calibration yep. control. So it's all good. The saw's pass, 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 pass. It's yep. good. Isn't that interesting? So again, I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm ex ecstatic is the word maybe that I have this outlet to now send people that come to my channel and want information, proper information, because let's face it, the internet is a wild and crazy place. Um, friends, if, if you bought a saw here, these are all 500 eyes, single wrap, full wrap so these boys are they're going they're doing their best to get these saws out to you guys is there more up here yeah, these are all the next ones in line oh so these are next getting yeah, worked on yeah, those are all sold. Yeah. okay so these are all sold and, and getting getting worked on so so listen friends I, I guess I'm just I don't have to speak for Eric but I'm here with the ripsaw boys and I see what they're going through and I see what they're doing and the calls are coming in these Basically, they're growing this business is what's happening. They're literally growing this business and they're adapting to lead times. Trust me, they're not happy about the lead times either, but they're taking steps to make that better, but they will not speed up your build for any purpose. They just won't do it. There's no point in them trying to ram, ram saws through. That's when problems happen. It, it's it's a, a commitment to, to quality. Every saw I've ran of there, And this is going to sound like a promotion to Ripsaw. That's because it is. I've received so many people in, from, from my YouTube channel. Bucking, where can I get a, a saw ported? Where can I get anything to do with what I'm doing in my business for power saws, ropes, climbing, belts? They're expanding into that realm as well. They're going to have a lot of stuff like that. But I'm talking mainly power saws right now. I haven't run a stock power saw for many, many years. Uh, the pipes are another thing, friends. That's just something I enjoy. People get into the pipes, but it's not for everybody. But uh, exhaust is a big component. But just know, from me, from me to you, if you've done business here and you're waiting for a saw, it is worth the wait. That's all I can say. Nobody likes waiting for nothing, especially in this day and age. I get it. Nobody does. But just rest assured, 
that when you get it, you're, you're gonna be very happy. I know I have. This thing here, I mean, I just. trade these guys I want to take this one home but we're gonna oh thank you my friend look at this gosh darn anyways I'm blowing smoke up your boys's can for you here on the video just so you know that so anyways friends enough garble but these boys are going and if your saws in here it's coming get busy doing something else time always flies better it's like the old pot watching the pot waiting for it to boil it'll never boil if you continue to watch it stop watching get working and when your rip saw shows up You'll be like, let's go. Anyways, over and out. Talk to you soon. Work hard, be honest, and be kind.